Hi folks, today is June the 23rd, Saturday. We got really fortunate on the weather because a cold front came through. It was supposed to rain from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m., but it never did rain a drop, but it looked like it could at any time. So we got really lucky because it did not rain, and today's high temperature is only 82 degrees, which is very rare for the end of June like this. We've been having a lot of 97s, 98s, you know, near 100 degree temperatures every day for the last two weeks, pretty much. And we, fought, we got lucky to get off of work. We both thought we was gonna have to work and they canceled it. So we got off Saturday. We got this rare occasion of it being very mild in the lower 80s for the high temperature. So we're going to go somewhere we haven't been in two years, which is the 11 Point River. Uh, we're going to float a different section than we did last time. This time we're trying from 160 down to 142. The main species we're going to be going after today is rainbow trout and pike, or pickerel. Uh, giant goggle eyes, because there's some big goggle eye in here. We also got a chance, a small chance of red ears, small mouth, uh, walleye, you know, sunfish, bluegill channel cat whatever but my, the main two I'm going after is the goggle eye and the rainbow trout and I'll catch pickerel on accident uh, but hopefully I catch a, a nice small mouth or walleye on accident so it's gonna be a good day I'm using their canoe so I don't tear mine up because it's very large boulders in this river I figure it's better just to use a metal one and because uh, they charge you anyway to use your own canoe unless you use two vehicles so it's actually you know, with the gas for two vehicles, just as cheap just to use their own canoe. That saved us the trouble of having to put ours up, pull it back down, put it back up, and then get home and take it back down again. This way they do all the work for us. Um, you know, even if we catch fish or not, this is just gonna be a good relaxing day. I get to see a new stretch of the river I've never seen before. Uh, this is the what I call the lower section of the Missouri section because half of this river, or half of the 11 point rivers in Missouri and the other half's in Arkansas, we're floating the very last few miles before it turns into Arkansas. Just uh, We take out just three or four miles from the Arkansas state line. So uh, this river is the only river I do believe in the state of Missouri that does have natural reproducing populations of rainbow trout because the water stays 55 to 57 degrees all year round even in the winter summer it doesn't matter it's freezing cold even if it's 100 degrees out and you get in that water it's freezing cold so uh, but we're gonna be down from where the trophy section of the trout is there's still trout where we're going but they tend to be 16 inches and under if you want the big boys, you got to go up from Greer Spring down to Witten. But we're we're trying to stay away from the crowd because it is a weekend. If you want to go to that section, I suggest coming during a weekday, like Monday through Thursday, because or else you're going to have to deal with a lot of other people. So that's one of the reasons we're going down further is to uh, kind of get away from everybody else. All right, I will turn back on when we get launched and. Uh, Appreciate all the comments and feedback and everything. I never thought that I would meet so many people through my videos. I've met some amazing people just in an hour radius of me. In the last two years, I've probably met 10 people that have just watched my videos and I end up going to meet them or uh, I talk to them a lot online and, and Facebook or whatnot. So I really appreciate all you guys. You guys keep me interested in doing this all on my days off to make new material and try different things instead of doing the same thing over and over so we decided you know i want to do something different we want to go after some different species in a different environment uh after this trip in the next couple week uh next weekend i i'm not going to be able to fish at all because i'm i gotta go see my mother before she moves away uh but it what you can look forward to in the next coming couple videos is I need to, I want to start targeting smallmouth streams where they're really small where you get in the water and actually wade 
I haven't really done a lot of that in the last couple of years, so I'm going to do some smallmouth and goggle eye fishing in them crystal clear, 10 foot wide creeks. Uh, just to give you guys something different and myself something different to do. All right, uh, we'll see you guys in just a few minutes. Oh yeah! Oh, he got a no. He's on there. I got something here, folks. It is, I think it's a tiny trout. No, it's a little pickerel, little chain pickerel, about 10 inches. Little, definitely a little guy. The smallest one I've ever caught, I think. <laughs> oh, well, that's a start. No, he's way too little. These are real bony. They're kind of not good to eat. They're well, they're hard to eat, I should say. Little chain pickerel. I've caught them over in here over two feet long, though. They get pretty big. That's the smallest one I've ever caught. Yeah, I'm gonna let him go. We're not gonna keep anything today. All right, first fish in the first couple minutes, so it's a good sign. I'm decent here. I don't know what it is yet. It is a largemouth, huh? Not too bad. Second fish of the day, two different kinds. I need the pliers, unfortunately. Yeah, we need to throw the anchor down right here. It's not very deep, actually. Yeah, I thought it was bigger than what it was. I got my drag, had my drag set so weak. Little 12 incher. It's still a start though. All right, thank you. All right, folks, a little largemouth bass. It ain't a spotted, it's an actual largemouth. Caught him right here underneath the bridge in the shade right next to the pillar. That's fish number two. We're off to a good start. My main lure, my main lure for the day is the rebel crawdad because the trout love it, the goggle eye love it, and the pickerel love it, so it's about the most universal thing you can use for here. Got it. It's a bluegill, regular bluegill. All right, so got three kind, three fish, three different kinds. Looking like a multi-species madness day again. Little bluegill. Real little. Fun day. Fun day. I'm telling you, I need to do it today. Not asking for better weather for the end of June like this to be 80 degrees. It's just a blessing. bluegill again. Alright, that's bluegill number two. Off this bridge pier, he's a little guy too, four inch, five inches. That's four fish. I got him on a third of a worm. I want to try to use the same little worm again. Looks like a regular bluegill again. 
Yeah, you got a goggle eye. That's a nice one. It's not bad. See, there's more of them on the other side of the road. There's more boulders at that one. We'll go over there, but let's stay here a few minutes, I guess. And I got my worm back. I want to try to catch this on a third of a worm again. She got a nice goggle eye. I want to zoom in on him. It's not bad. Good job, hon. Can you hold it for a second for us? This is what we call shadow bass around here because it's a certain subspecies of the rock bass or also known as the goggle eye called a shadow bass. Good job. We got four different kinds of fish already now. Bass, bluegill, pickerel, and goggle eye. That's five kinds. Good job. Here, I'll zoom in. We caught her a long eared sunfish. That gives us five kinds, folks. Pretty cool. Can you take him off the hook and uh, hold it for us? Oh, yeah. Okay, hold that pose. I'm zoomed in. Hold on. What a beauty. We've literally only caught six fish, and five of them have been different kinds. That's awesome. One day, five times already. Oh, thank you. Our second goggle line. Big one this time, don't you? No. Uh, I think that's a warm out. That's a green sunfish. That's six kinds. Wait, folks, we already caught six kinds of fish. Out of eight out of nine fish, six different kinds. What a day. We haven't even caught a lot of the kinds yet. We still got smallmouth walleye, rainbows, pickerel. So we could get ten kinds if we get those four kinds. And they're still warm out. Oh yeah, that was probably a smallmouth chasing something. My first goggle eye, she caught two earlier and I never did get one. Caught him on the Rebel Crawdad. Pretty close to the bank. Some little guys, maybe five inches. This is my first one of the day. So. Yeah, pretty fish though, one of my favorite. The shadow bass. It makes nine fish for us, six different kinds. Look at all these big old rocks. Yes, I got something nice. Oh yeah, look at this goggle eye. Better. That's what I'm talking about right here, folks. I knew it as soon as I seen these boulders, there's some giant boulders all around me. He's, he's about eight or nine inches. Wow, it's a nice, look at this, hun. It's one of those jumbo ones. Gosh. Now that, yeah, I don't know. Now that's what we came after, folks. Besides trout, this is what I want. These big old fat eight, nine inch shadow bass. What a beauty. I knew if I leave it, left this crawdad on long enough, it would pay off. It looks like I'm gonna leave this lure on a little longer. I may try twister tails later on. Maybe a, 
a, a, a crankbait that looks like a minnow seems kind of pointless because there's so much forage in this river that it would almost be like they probably wouldn't even look at it. There's so many minnows. That is a, huh? That is a nice goggle eye right here. Wow. I will. Got him! Oh yeah! Oh yes! Right in that scum, I'm telling you, put your worm down there. In the scum. Right in the middle, right in the middle. But not on that tree, there's vegetation right there. And there's, folks, I just got another eight inch goggle eye. A lot prettier than the last one. It's not as bloated, but it's the same size and more colorful. I love this river. Alright. That's a second nice goggle eye. Actually, this one's only about seven inches, but still decent. You know, these aren't a sought after fish, really, but they should be. They're just absolutely gorgeous, especially when they start getting bigger than your hand, like that. As you can see, he's. He comes from the tip of my finger all the way past my wrist, about two inches past. Oh man, you got something big. Be patient, be patient. Just let him. Oh my God, what do you got? Uh, it's a goggle eye my goodness that thing's 11 10 11 inches oh my god it's the biggest one i've ever seen <laughs> that's a goggle eye right there holy shit wow folks she just got her personal best goggle eye and it's it's probably the it's the second biggest one i've ever seen i bet it's 11 or 12 inches my goodness it took it it uh it she had it hooked and it went under the uh log right here i thought she was gonna lose it i thought she was it was gonna get her hung up and she got managed to get it out how many that's at least 10 and a half at the minimum but i think it's 11 or 12. they love these root ones you're gonna have to hold that up in a minute once you get it good. Ten and a half. All right, hold him up. I'm gonna zoom in. Actually, hand him to me. And uh, when you get him unhooked, hand it to me, and I'll show the people. My gosh. It's like a giant crappie. It looks like a black crappie when they spawn. Oh my gosh. Here, I'll just zoom, it's too hard. Hold it just like you're holding it. I'm zooming in all the way. It's too hard for me to lean over. Folks, this is a monster goggle eye right there. This thing looks like a giant crappie when they spawn, it is that big. It's 10 and a half, it was actually a lot less than what I thought, but still a true giant for a goggle eye. Wow. Just keep holding it for about 20 more seconds. That is awesome, honey. Okay, I'm going to stop recording, then I'm going to take a picture of you, okay? It's a goggle eye. Nice one, too. Not as big as yours. Oh, he swallowed the hook. Oh. Definitely gonna have to have the pliers on him. Still a nice seven incher though. Yeah, I'm gonna have to have them. <sighs> now we know where they're at on these tree roots. Anywhere there's tree roots like that. All right, 
folks. It's got the line number six, I believe. Had to cut the line on this guy. It's so far in there, I would just hurt him if I even tried to get it out, so. Trout. No, it's a skipjack. That's species number nine, folks. I just caught a skipjack. <laughs> I didn't even know they were in here. Oh my God. Nine kinds of fish. Maybe we'll beat our record of get 15 or 16 kinds. That's nine. That is a skipjack, without a doubt. My goodness. It fooled me though. I thought I had a rainbow trout. Boy, they are uh, aggressive. This is the best blue cat bait you can use right here, folks. The old skipjack. What a weird catch. Definitely a unexpected catch. Old skipjack. <laughs> God. Slimy. They're really slimy. My first one of this kind. Oh, they are aggressive. All right, folks, horny head chub. These, that's what you want to use right there for the walleye bait in the winter time. Them on a big weight with a hook about a foot above the weight. This time, I'm trying these new Mr. Twister tails. They are white with three or four black dots on the tail. It's too bad they can't put bigger black dots all the way up the whole body. They're just only on the tail only. It's still kind of cool. The quarter ounce jig head. It looks really old. 1800s. Boy, talk about a bad spot to build a house. I bet that flooded all the time. Now there's some fish right there. It's worth a cast or two, and then this hole don't look bad. I'm firm. The little spring or something comes in. Got something. I don't know. I think it's a goggle eye. Whoa. I don't know. Boy, it fought hard there for. Is that what it is? Oh. Folks, I just had a small mouth. He wasn't huge or nothing, but it was the only one I've had in hours. Man. He was a 12 incher, maybe. That's why he fought so hard. Okay. There he goes. Ah, well, we spooked him, but there was a bald eagle less than a hundred yards from us. He was perched up in this tree, but he's seen us. He didn't hear us because we wasn't loud. I got a view of him flying away though. A little bit. This. Yeah, I filmed it. Yeah, I turned the camera on and zoomed in. So I missed one small mouth and one large mouth. Gosh. Oh, I got one. <laughs> yep, yeah, I'll go again. They're starting to bite again because it's evening. 
Oh, oh, oh. It's a little smaller than the ones we were getting earlier, though. This one is anyway. Six inches. Another goggle eye, folks. Little fat one. There's, that's definitely a goggle high eye hideout right there. Come on, come on, come on. To a fit, while she was she was trolling her crankbait, I was paddling as fast as I could, and she was just let the line out about 40 feet behind us and just let it slow roll. And she caught a smallmouth doing that. I always get on to her for doing that because I'm afraid she's going to get hung up when she does it. But it finally worked for her. She caught a smallmouth. All right, let me zoom in on you. We've got a, finally got our first smallmouth every day. That makes 10 species for us, guys. 10 species in one day. Wow. What a variety. He's about 11 inches, almost 12. Hold it up one time, like where you pointed at me. Here's our first small mouth. It's not bad. It's cool how you got it. That's a decent small one. <laughs> Trolling a Rapala called a jointed crawl crankbait. I guess I can't get on to you too much about that. This looks good over here. No, it's real shallow. It's actually, I can see the bottom all through here. Can't you? You can see the bottom. He's about 11, is my guess. See them small mouth this time of the year are not always in the deep holes. 11 and a half. Hmm. All right, folks, she's got another small mouth. Man, two in within a minute. That's definitely a small mouth by the way he's jumping. I'm going to get over there and see if I can get one. Man, we're on fire all of a sudden. We're at a real long, deep hole. It's just, it's like a mile long. With, it's just real still. Boy, he's fighting, isn't he? My goodness. Now that one's bigger, he's about 13. Yeah, be careful, you go, we wanna grab him by the lip, not the line, grab him by the lip, the bottom lip. I got a dip net, if you need a dip net. Gosh, wow, good small mouth. Let me cast one more time, then I'll zoom. Oh, that is, yeah, that's a decent one there. 13. Maybe 12 and a half, 13. It's an improvement. I guess they like this hole. And I can't get one on the regular crawl, re rebel crawl, Dad. They like that repel one. That's decent, though. You haven't caught a big smallmouth in a while. I don't remember when the last time you got one. Oh yeah, let me zoom. That's nice. Oh, no. He's got two small mouths a minute apart from each other. This one's bigger. He goes 13. That is awesome. Good catch. That lure works good, doesn't it? Jerry Ralph is the one that got me to fry those because he uses them on his videos a lot. And he gave me the idea. He throws for walleye with them. I had never tried them until this year. Oh, you guys just small out and put him back in. He's been doing really good. 
she outfished me today for sure. She got this small mouth and she got that big ten and a half inch goggle line. So you see who the winner is so far. What? She's got her third fish. Oh man, she had her third fish. Boy, they are stacked in here. Goodness. That. Oh, she's got another one, folks. Oh my gosh. You got a bigger, you got a bigger one again. A bigger, every time they're getting bigger. He's 14. No, he's not. It's 12. Your, your, your rod is just so sensitive. It's an ultra light. <laughs> it is decent though. Let him get tired. Let him get tired. Let him get tired. You gotta quit picking him up like that. Folks, she just got three smallmouth in three minutes. My goodness. It's another 13. See, we're getting down. There ain't hardly any smallmouth above 160. I mean, there is a few, but not a whole lot. Look at that tree. Look how crazy that is. Yeah, that is a big old pot belly. Yeah, let me zoom real quick so we put him back. Hold on. Okay. Folks, she just got three smallmouth. Oh, pretty decent ones. That was in about another 13 and a half or in the past few minutes, and you've seen what I got, Jack Squat. He's whipping my butt. <laughs> I got one. And it got off. Gosh. What we got here. She hasn't gotten one in a while, but she's on to something. Smallmouth again. They're thick through this section of the river, I guess. We haven't caught nothing else except smallmouth the last two hours. My goodness. Boy, you're going to break that rod one of these days. Another decent one. <laughs> it's foul hook. That's why. He bit it, but one of the hooks got in his cheek. Oh my gosh. I got something decent for once. Oh yeah. Stay on there. It's a drum. Oh man, I thought it was like a three or four pound bass. Big old drum on the Rebel Crawdad, folks. It really had me fooled. I thought I had a big small mouth. What, pliers? They should be on there. They're, they're by your butt. My God, that's a nice drum, though. But man, of all the fish it could have been, why that? Oh, and he, he inhaled it bad. It's gonna be hard to get off. I'm gonna have to have the pliers too after you're done. I mean, he and he totally inhaled this crawdad. All right, she got a she got about an 11 inch small mouth this time. Okay, give me the yeah. Okay, give me the pliers, and I'm gonna take him off without picking it up. He's still biting like crazy. He's about five pounds. <laughs> of all the kinds it could have been though. They talk, tell me that ain't disappointing. That's the worst fish for me to get. I, I'd rather catch a gar than a dang drum. But I haven't caught nothing in a while, so I can't complain. Yeah. 
Oh man, all six of the hooks are in here. You gotta be kidding. I was really getting ready to start paddling my butt off. I got one set out. The other one is way the hell in there. There we go, got him. And the release. I didn't uh, I didn't bother holding it up because it's just a drum. Too much ends of the day. We got 15 minutes to get back to the boat ramp when they're supposed to pick us up. We can hear the highway, so that's a good sign. We're pretty dang close, and we've passed uh, a creek that I know about. I know that ain't far from above the bridge, so we just caught one last small mouth, and I got that drum right before the end. At least it was something. Uh, we caught a lot of fish the first two hours, then had about four slow hours, and then we had about two more good hours. It's just the species changed. It was, seemed like the majority was all smallmouth there at the end. I caught the one goggle eye and had the largemouth fall off and then the drum. But other than that, she caught four smallmouth. She did a really good job today. The smallmouth. He'll tire out. Just let him get real tired. Okay, I changed my mind, guys. Uh, she's caught five smallmouth, not four. Oh! No, that was, he kept swimming away every time I'd get close. Of course, my lure messes up when I get to the perfect hole. Yeah, I'm getting one, a couple of them. It has better action than the regular rebel crawdad, yeah. It wiggles a lot more. And it's brighter too. More fluorescent colors. Fourteen inches, all right. Yeah. Huh. That's not bad at all. Hold him up here in a minute. We'll get going. We was able to, we kept saying last fish about five times. So we, was, we were real fortunate we caught the fish we did. All right, let me zoom in. All right, folks, you got a 14 incher. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, hold him real good there. There we go. That is okay. Tilt him a little towards me. You're you got it angled. There you go. Hold him straight up. There you go. Good job, honey. You did really good today. Really good today. Just around the corner. We're there. I guess. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Oh. No, I got it. It's big, too, whatever it is. <laughs> Here. Oh, shit. Oh, it's recording already. I forgot it's on. It's been on the whole time. It's got to be a small mouth. Yes, it is. I finally got a small mouth, folks. And it's a nice one. Not bad. Oh, yeah. Man, that might have got, got on the camera. Camera lens. My gosh. What? Boy, he got a, when he knew, realized what happened, he got a second burst of energy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Man, he's 14 too, isn't he? Easily. He might go 15. 
No, it's okay. He's 14 or 15 though. I do need the pliers though and quick because we got to start. <sighs> Folks, we ended up having an amazing day. It was sporadic here and there. Dead times, good times, bad times, scary times. That is a good small mouth right there. Yeah, he's 15 inches. Wow. Whew. Awesome. Right at the last moment before dark. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Right there. Good old Ozark small mouth. Oh, shit. All right, my lure was dangling down. That is awesome, I managed to get one more nice fish. Let's put him back. Say that was a really fun day. I did not get any trout like I wanted, and I didn't get any big pickerel like I wanted. No surprise walleyes or crappie or anything. But we did manage to, we got in the car, was heading on our way home right now, and we realized we caught 10 different kinds of fish, not nine, because I forgot to count that drum toward the end of the trip. Uh, if you remember from my episode 100 of last year, we caught 15 kinds in one day. Um, I think at this river, we have a chance to beat our record because we got 10 and we thought of a lot of fish that we didn't catch, which would be trout, gar. We seen some buffalo swimming around. That'd be 13. If I got a would have got a walleye and a crappie, that'd be 15. Um, there are some a few other kinds, and there's there's some sucker fish in there. Uh, I'm sure there's a oh warmouth and red ear we both missed today. We have a possibility of getting 17 different kinds out of that river. Uh, I'm not saying it's going to be an easy task, but that would beat our record by two because we got 15 before So but anyway ten kinds of fish in one day is pretty pretty rare thing uh, especially when you're not Really trying to get that many kinds just kind of accidental uh, <laughs> Deer just ran out in front of us But uh, anyway, I just wanted to clarify we did catch ten different kinds today a lot of fun until next time, stay tuned, hit that like button, and be sure to subscribe.